You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horseshit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. Gotta go ninjas way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, and we get out. Surprise. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Still got it. Find out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Are you guys okay? They didn't hurt you, did they? No. We're fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you know this already. This is not our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? W what about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he, he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's all right. If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah. 
Me too. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. He definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here, don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. Oh, you're one to talk. If anyone betrayed Richmond, it's you, Joan. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? You think you can pin this mess on me? What mess? Would someone please explain what's going on? I can. Lonnie? Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You son of a bitch. They would have got me too. But I was lucky. Are you kidding me? You have the nerve? To accuse us? Their bodies are in the factory. See for yourself. Why don't you tell them what you were doing up there, Lonnie? Tell them how Joan ordered you to kill and loot. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. We did that raided those communities, hurt those people. Because David told us to. Not Joan. I'm sorry, David, I can't do this anymore. I can't hurt anyone else. This is wrong. I am asking you, please tell them the truth. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joan. David, just stop. We knew this couldn't last forever. We confronted him. Me, Badger, and Max. We were done. We let him know. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough. David, stop. 
Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. Don't let Joan get away with this. Paul, you don't know me very well, but my brother's your friend. He wouldn't do what they're saying, you know that. Maybe we should sleep on this. Give everyone some time to cool down. No. Don't try and drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? I'll give you family! 